what you're saying is Devi hasn't reached her potential yet, and That's her right. service mechanically is good, so it's going to get better. That's the point. Chris Evan Lloyd, first game of the match, women's singles final. <laughs> This place is jammed. There is there's a hush almost of anticipation. They've been waiting for this. Everett Lloyd over Graf, as you see. Chris beat uh, Steffi a year ago in the final of this championship. Martina didn't play. because she's going to do a lot of running tonight. Steffi Graf won the last time they played. First game of the match, 128 draw, men and women. Best of three sets, this of course. This is the final of the Lipton International Players Championship. Chris has trouble because she cannot hit a topspin serve. She's going to hit into Steffi's forehand a lot. That was the first backhand return this game the Steffi's had to hit, and Chris won the point. Chrissy got a good first serve in there that time. That was the reason for that one. This youngster has certainly come out smoking off the forehand side. So then Chrissy's interesting to see how this is going to develop. We'll be back. Chris Everett Lloyd, first game of the match, a break. Richard Kaufman had all kinds of troubles in the men's semi-finals between Connors and Ivan Lindel. Apparently he survived. Controversy in that match played earlier and won by Ivan Lendl as you see the temperature down there and Ivan Lendl will play against Miloslav Machia also from Czechoslovakia. Dolly's at courtside, and Fred, as I look down at you there, I can't imagine playing under really nicer conditions than we're enjoying right this minute. Very pleasant down here at the moment, Cliff. The sun is starting to settle down to go down in the west, and there's a bit of cloud coverage, a slight breeze, but not as bad as it has been throughout the day, and just about perfect conditions. <laughs> looking very distinguished down there, Fred. Fred, of course, is so close to Chris Everett Lloyd and, uh, and indeed Steffi Graf. He's kind of whispering a bit to us now. Thirty all.
I think Cliff, uh, I think that Chris is going to have to take a couple of chances and hit wide to Steffi's forehand to open up that court so she can finally get to the backhand because Steffi is going to be running around that backhand as often as possible. This is break point. serve followed by a break of serve how often that happens you saw there from Steffi Graff though especially off the backhand side she's going to be hitting a lot of those her variety Billie Jean she can hit under it and over it in fact she hit them both twice in that rally alone well that's what I saw five years ago and I watched her play at Wimbledon and I felt that she was the most promising youngster because she could do those two things Cliff she has a terrific footwork as well And she opens up her shoulders a little too early and she knows when she's doing that and let's see if she corrects it last point of that game i thought was a great tactic by chris everett lloyd to go in on that shot early in the match to put the young steffi under pressure she missed that passing shot the first real passing shot she had a crack at Feel Chrissy measuring, measuring, and then saying, no, this thing's going to go long. It was only just long. You're right, Fred, about Chris going in early in the match. We talked about that uh, two nights ago. She was saying, you know, I've got to start going in earlier in the match. Don't wait until it gets tight and then try to go in. Watch Steffi, by the way. She is constantly on her toes. She's skipping every moment of every point. Watch it. She'll try to run around her back end and hit a powerful forehand if she can. I thought the best point technically that's been made, Billie Jean, is the fact that, as you said, Chris doesn't have that top spin serve. It's going to be difficult for her to get it into the backhand side. Double fault there. Maybe that was the reason why. 15-30. Two games to one. One apiece, rather. Well, this is what we watched five years ago, and she's even better. Look how much discipline. Always on her feet, on the balls of her feet, getting in position. There's a big Topson forehand. Look at that. Always preparing. That's, that's good for all of us who try to play the game. Oh, yeah. Well, Chris wants to start going in early in this match, and she gets a short reply from Steffi and takes advantage of it. Did you see, see Steffi, rather? She was staying on that side of the court. She wanted the forehand. She didn't think Chris was going to go there. Oh! And three games have been played. Three breaks of serve. Two of them against Chris Everett Lloyd. Steffi Graf leads two games to one. The 17-year-old tells you about those. Folks down under enjoying this telecast along with you. Go! Steffi Graf, two games to one. First set, woman's final. Billie Jean, $150,000 to the winner of this match. Now, how important is the money to those girls? Are they thinking about it at all? No, it's the last thing you think about. Fifteen left.
I guess Chrissy's bank manager is the only one who really worries about it then. And Steffi Graf, when she takes it back to West Germany, of course, that uh, that mark's so high, it kind of gets halved like it was for you. There's the Andy Don. <laughs> he likes tennis. He was up at the Nabisco Masters. Fred talked to him up there. Mike's lipped a nice tea, too, doesn't he? doesn't really like that one either as, as you saw right there and Graf meant that shot game point Graf Rather, as I watch her, the thought occurs to me that she could dominate the sport just like Martina did, and to some extent, the same way that you did for so long. Oh, she can, and the same way Chris Everett Lloyd has Absolutely. for so many years. Oh! She's only 17 years old, remember. By the way, looking at Don Meredith here, Fred, uh, Ken Fouts, our producer, knows him from many years ago, so he went over there and talked to him. And you know, when we're doing this thing on the satellite, folks should get it up there. ESPN homes, they don't always get the commercials if they're on the satellite, just pick it up directly. And he said that he heard some of the remarks that we were making. And so I'm going to bring all that up because you'd be interested to know that he is a real tennis fan because he's been watching us. We've been on the air now since Monday a week ago. This is a 14-day championship. He's finding it a little difficult to trade forehands from the back of the court with Graf. I agree with Billie Jean. I think she's got to take a couple of risks and get to the forehand so that it opens up the backhand side. She's guiding too many, in my opinion, over to the backhand side at the moment or trying to. on that backhand to make that slice a little stronger because sometimes she has a little bit like a noodle wrist on it. And this last winter, she worked on her serve. So she's one of the few players that takes time off to improve her game, which I agree with, especially at this young age. This match was going to be played earlier in the day, as you can see. The sun is going down kind of quickly. In fact, the lights have been turned on already here, just so that the transition is easier for the players. It's 15.40, double break point. The reason for it being delayed is because the men's finals were delayed. Because of the weather. The men's the semifinals, semifinals, rather, right. And in the final, and you'll see that live at 4 p.m. this afternoon, you will see Yvonne Lindell and Machia. That's Eastern time, of course. Steffi Graf has broken again, four games to one. That represents two serve breaks. By the way, the similarities more interesting than the differences, really. A little more top spin in Steffi's, and she hits the ball a little harder, but there are a lot of similarities. They both prepare really early. Very well, but Chris hits more of a side spin, almost sometimes high to low. Most 
request of Steffi Graf serves thus far in this match is being directed to the Everett Lloyd forehand. opportunity Steffi Graf this is exactly what she's gonna have to do she gets a short shot and she powders it to the backhand comes in keeps going forward I think Chris should be doing that as often as possible take a few chances you especially if you're behind in the set nothing to lose that's a chance 15-30 played point it was called long believe it or not well it might have been long so believe it it's instead of 1540 and two break points for Everett Lloyd it's 30 all and that must have missed us by a centimeter a fraction Anxious there. She didn't used to do that so often. She said now that she's older, she's not as patient. Well, Steffi Graf really cranks up on this big crucial point, add point. Look how high that toss is. Look at the great knee bend, though, and look at reach and hit left to right, and that's why that ball kept going out to Chris's backhand. You know, this event is only three years old. Well, They've played every other time, that's twice. Everett Lloyd won both of their previous meetings here in this Lipton Championship. Yep. In 85, she beat Steffi in the semi-final, 4-2, and two, and then as you watch this again, in the final, lost her 4-2 and two again. This is what's been working for Chris. Did she hesitate, Fiery, on that passing shot? Looks like I thought Chris hesitated a little bit getting in. She did hesitate going in, but uh, we have this, out, this outside person here with a, a cushion, a waffle cushion, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, it's an aggravating kind of a whine that uh, emanates from that thing. I don't know whether it's our a PA system or the local or whatever it is. Anyway, it's aggravating. But this is another triple set point here. And by the way, also break point, of course, for Graf. in the semi-finals she made really short shrift of the number one play in the world Martina Navratilova that score was 6-2 6-3 she's won the first set here against Chris Everett Lloyd six games to one I think was uh, I'll check it Steffi Graf has that really same, hasn't had a tough one Steffi has that same confident walk that same confident air oh! in the semi-final match against Martina Navratilova Chris Everett Lloyd won seven points apart from the one game that she won, only seven points. It's 11 total, including the game in the first set. Yeah. 
did the toughest the against. Geesburg. Yeah, it was three and four. Right. That was the toughest match so far of this tournament, this lifting tournament that Graf's had. story right here. Everett Lloyd having that many more unforced errors than an opponent is, is not the usual story. It's usually the other way around when you're playing Chris Everett Lloyd. She is being forced into some of those errors. I know by definition that's not an unforced error, but boy, she's making errors that she wouldn't make because Stephanie's putting so darn much pressure on her. Just like that last game, if you notice, Chris's shots were all landing just around the service line, and Steffi had her running side to side as well as hitting with more depth. Look at that, sir. First game of the second set, the final of the women's single, 6 1 easily for Steffi Graf, 17 years old from West Germany, over Chris Everett Lloyd. Well, you're looking at the next number one, for sure. She went up to number two on the rankings on March 2nd. So, during this tournament. Graf over Everett Lloyd, 6-1 first set. She now leads one game to love in the second. This is the Lipton International Players Championship. We're on Key Biscayne. Power is at torso. Same with Jimmy Connors. And take another look. See how she's running? Gets her racket back, square to the ball, point of contact, firm wrist, and then through. going to have to do to get back in this match is to go ahead and hit that one over the fore and hit this short one so it leaves her some space open now where are you going to hit this chris i don't know down the line she's made a couple there did you see where steffi was as you know as we stopped that thing there she's right over there protecting the backhand side and of course that's why she lost that point chris has not won a point yet in second serves When you know that's going on, you've got to make sure you get your first serve in. You try to keep track of that when you're out there playing. unforced error typical example she's trying for a lot more than she usually does because she's playing Steffi Graf that's why the unforced errors come so high that's right that last one you could just feel that Chris had to step it up a gear if she was going to win the point and of course it caused her to rush the second game that ever Lloyd has won in the match he lost the first set six at least uh, yes the first set six one Manon Bolograf was uh, Steffi's victim in the first round listen to these scores six one six love Elise Bergen six three six four we talked about that but then listen to this Billy Jean Graf over Goma one and love over Kyle love and one over Bonda love and one and then of course the second 
semi-final, uh, the semi-final match over Navratilova, that was three and two. But she has sailed through this championship. his wife next to him butch is the founder the teddy tindling behind butch buckholz founder of this championship down here they call this his baby and i think that's a fair characterization and that other person was anna lee thurston who works for virginia slims pr anna lee by the way very helpful in terms of getting some information to us about the players throughout this championship 15 loves to figure out one game all second set from courtside Cliff I just think and Billie Jean I just think that Steffi Graf is uh, just playing so well they said in the semi-final Martina didn't play that well my opinion of that was because I um, go along with that to a point but Steffi Graf did not allow Martina to get into the match thus far in this match she has not led Chris Everett Lloyd she's just hit her off the court with that forehand maybe Chrissy can get back into it in the second set Fred's kind of whispering from down there, I mentioned that before. Well, he has to, because he's what, about 10 steps from the lady that you're looking at right now. And he talked too loud, or she's going to say something to him. Either that, Billy Jean, or maybe she'd like him to talk so she can learn something about this sport. <laughs> well, it's funny because um, Chris hit with Mary Jo Fernandez. Yep. whose fireys helped and Ed Smat at Turnberry, so <laughs> what, what should I do? that Chris Everett Lloyd needs to get back in this match and of course to get into the second set Steffi thought it was going to be much deeper of course and couldn't get to it nice break for Chris Excuse me, Fred, go ahead. So far, Billie Jean, uh, Steffi Graf has only hit two top spin backhands. One was an attempted pass shot in the first game, and she's played one from the back of the court. I think she's got to be a little braver off the backhand. She's just slicing everything, and I think this is allowing the Chrissy to start to creep into this match. Exactly like she wanted to, she just never made the last shot. And it was an out ball. It would have hit the backstop, that forehand from Graf.
point. Chris cutting that down the line has been very effective, but did not get enough on this. She had to hit a one-handed backhand ball, and of course, Graf had plenty of time to get over there. Here you see it again. See how she stays over the ball, watch that setter step, gets ready. Had to hit the one-handy. She had a big reach there, and that set it up for Steph. She Any said, which way you put it, Billie Jean, this kid can play, and she is just a kid off to roll. She's just 17 years old. She's from West Germany, and Chris Everett Lloyd is in a lot of trouble. She breaks your second set. She lost the first. That's how she got to the final. Jennifer Mandel, first round. Kijimuda from Japan. Nelson Dunbar in straight sets. Stephanie Rahe, Claudia Koda Kilsch, and Hannah and Lakova all in straight sets. Set. Chris, let that one go, Fred. Let that one go, and that's, the, that's only the second time that there's been a top spin, a passing shot hit by Steffi Graf. Hasn't had to hit too many of them. I think Chrissy should make a hit a few more. She plays the wind perfectly. You see how far that was away from Chris when it went by her, and then it went right in and curved in there. Wind from left to right of your screen, what there is, not near as bad as it was yesterday, of course. <laughs> Serve into the forehand side, and it worked. Those don't work too often. That one did. Kept going away from her. 30 off. Second serve. Chris has not been too good behind second serve. She's in trouble if she loses this point. It's 30 all. Could you believe how quickly Steffi went over to that backhand side to be ready for the next shot for the forehand? Crowd's liking this. Of course, Steffi Graf hit for about 40 minutes earlier today with Pavel Slozel. The Czech player used to play on the circuit when I was playing. He's coaching it now. Yeah. Yes, he's coaching. And, of course, Peter Grass still is really her coach. Right. And Chris Everett Lloyd, as I said, in a lot of trouble. Her Peter Graff, of course, is her father. And Pavel Slows, as you said, Czech is a vacuum player. I guess he's a practice partner and a coach. He told me in the locker room, he said, Well, I'm coaching, I'm helping her out. And, I think you should say more because he said, You know, he's such a good player. He knows the game has oh, been sure. there. Yep. Uh, but they also came out about five minutes before the match started, five or ten minutes to get used to the conditions. Five breaks of serve, as you saw for Graff, one for Everett Lloyd. trying to help Chris to get in this. Yeah, well, she lives just up the road. Of course, she's from this area, born and bred here, really. Boca Raton. has been playing the conditions better than anybody this week. And again, she shows us, watch how she threads this backhand. Looks like it's gonna go out and it just curves in, just hits the line. You know, I'll be honest 
tricky, Billie Jean. When she played that semi-final against Martina Navratilova, she played well. Yes, I thought she also was a little lucky because she got a lot of lines and stuff like that. That's the parents, of course, of Chrissy Colette, and Lloyd. Jimmy. Colette and Jimmy. A bit on the left. <laughs> They've seen a lot of matches. this is that I it, it obviously was not uh, luck or anything like that she just plays that way she, she can do it constantly two matches in a row here against the two greatest well forget luck this is break point two of them for Everett Lloyd there from Steffi Graf to get around that was on a backhand side she had time to get around get the feeding position and clobber that forehand break point Not get the depth of shot. Watch this. Watch how this one's slow and short, and she just cranks up, and it's goodbye. You know, it's funny because Chris won her first big match against Margaret Court when she was 15 years ago, 15 years old, which was 17 years ago. And Steffi Kraft is 17 years old. stay about even with her well that's one thing then she can get into the forehand the backhand side but as soon as uh, Steffi sort of imposes herself on the point then Chrissy can't get in the backhand anymore she runs around and whack the winner the forehand Everett Lloyd, they've supported her and followed her for so darn long. She's such a, an exciting player. She's just the queen, really, of tennis, has been for so long. They wanted to do better against the new queen. You may be seeing the coronation of Steffi Graf right here. She destroyed Martin in the semifinals and to this point anyway is doing the same, even worse to Chris Everett Lloyd. Tina, dark glasses on next to Alan Mills. That second row up there in the middle. And next to Martina on her right and our left is Donna Pagliot, who's one of the WITA trainer. who has been taking care of a lot of the players the last two weeks. Vice's Don Johnson is here today. He's been here all afternoon. We've had three matches here so far. The, the finish, the conclusion of the match between Connors and Lendl, and then the other semi-final men's singles match between Yannick Noah, Miloslav Machia, one by Machia, so it's going to be Machia and Lendl, number one seed in the final. Adios 
see that men's singles final live on ESPN 4 o'clock Eastern time this afternoon. That's 4 o'clock on the East Coast. Lendl and Machia for the championship of Key Biscayne and the Lipton International Players Championship. Chris just not getting her first serve in. And against Steffi today, you're in big trouble if you don't get your first serve in. Goodbye. All the Germans have been asking me this week, do you think Steffi can be number one? Yes, if she hits shots like this. Hey, first serve or second serve, this kid's got that much confidence now, she's just not going to miss. gives up look at this footwork gets ready hits a forehand watch her get in position this is that volley that chris put away and she still almost got to it that's a sign of a champion though always trying billy jean what is going through chris everett lloyd's mind she's never been beaten this badly or in so darn long in a moment take each point but I'll tell you right now Chris is saying she's playing too well whatever I try does not work no, Chris is a lady she's been great for the game she's going to admit defeat here but uh, whatever she's tried today they've been on court now 51 minutes I think it was 57 minutes the total time with now rattle over two incredible performances Steffi Graf for the championship of the Lipton International a Grand Slam format event two weeks seven matches to win this title and she's serving for it. One of the few easy shots that Graf has missed. Remember, Chris has played, this is her second tournament since September. She had a bad left knee, she's done a lot of Cybex, it's much better now. Has a bone spur on her right foot, but she's probably the best shape she's been in years. is going to hang in there. But she's hanging on the thinnest of threads, isn't she? Too good. When, when a player plays like that, uh, there you see the percentage points, one on serve. Graf is doing much better in that department. Sure, Billy Jean, because the tournaments have, have to be played on grass, and there's so many indoor championships. You can't count Martina out. Of course you can't. But you have to look at this person and wonder. Everett Lloyd serving at two games to five. In the second set, she lost the first. good three inches out that serve there's a lot of uh, lines people in the crowd they all want 
Chrissy, as you can <laughs> imagine. Yes, we're helping. I think Steffi started to rush a little because she wants it so badly and wants to finish. And this is where you have to be careful to take each point one at a time. Seems to me I've heard that somewhere before. As one of Billie Jean King's favorite statements, she used to do it when she played, one point at a time. You used to tell me that. I had a different attitude, see? I was just happy to get to the next point, no matter where it was. Just... Unlucky, I think, on that. But Steffi is so good. She put so much pressure on you to make this shot perfectly. for Steffi Graff. It is also championship point. Yes, that's what I was going to say. Chris's forehand has really let her down this match. One, six, two. Would you have believed it? Well, I don't know, but who would have believed that she could have done it quite as easily as she did?